Hey everyone, welcome back to another Azure haul here at Calvi Homestead. Um, I don't think I ordered an Azure last month, or was it the month before? I can't quite remember, but let's just get into it because I'm excited to open everything. I haven't opened everything to make sure I've got everything, so, um, which I think I've only had something missing once. They're, they're really good about it. Um, now, sometimes you'll have things missing in your order if they're out of stock, but you don't get charged for it. Um, here is something I haven't ordered for quite a while, and that's because I just buy it in bulk, so I don't have to order it as often. But I get a six-pack, as you can see, of this um, Sanjay Tamari soy sauce. This is my favorite, and I know like a lot of people don't do soy sauce but I've never tried coconut aminos maybe I should <laughs> um but yeah anyway it's non-gmo and gluten-free which I'm happy about um so I bought a six pack of that and that'll last me a while like I said it's been quite a while since I've had to order it so time to restock because I am completely out let's go ahead and just open this little baby box because I think I know probably what was put in here and don't freak out when you get a box that says like for instance this one says this is like an oatmeal box or something um, they reuse boxes for stuff so this was uh, Bob's Red Mill quick cooking steel cut oats we're not huge steel cut oat people here we'd rather have regular oats but oh this is not what I thought it was Okay, so I this is my first time trying this from Azure, and this is their finely grated Parmesan cheese, and I'm, I'm really excited to try this, but I usually buy the wedges of Parmesan cheese. Um, I've bought them from Azure before. They're good. I've bought them at Sam's before, um, but I wanted some like grated, like finely grated, just to like sprinkle over salads or even soup if I didn't feel like shredding any. So I'm excited to try it. This is one pound. So typically the little ones you get in the store and like the tub, those are eight ounces. It looks small, but um, it's pretty densely packed in there. So I'm excited to try it because you know, the, the craft like grated cheese in the can that sits on the shelf, not in the fridge, kind of weird. So I'm excited to try this and yeah. All right, this next box, pretty sure I know what this is, so I'm gonna be careful because this was in the freezer part of the truck. And you know that I love these. They are Stacy's tortillas. I get the three pack. It's like 11 bucks and some change for the three pack. And these have super good ingredients. Um, Basically, it's just organic white flour, water, organic sunflower oil, baking powder, salt, and citric acid. But if you compare that to like the tortillas in the store, it's crazy. Um, I did actually order the bigger, I ordered these, and then I ordered like the burrito size ones too. Those were out of stock, unfortunately. So I just got, I guess these like, fajita sizes. I can make burritos in here, but my husband likes like big breakfast burritos too. All right, next. Let's see. I love opening boxes for measure because it's kind of like opening presents, even though you had to buy it yourself and um, you know what everything is for the most part, if you remember. Sometimes I forget everything I order. Oh yes, I'm excited about this one. So, let's do these first. So, <laughs> I got a three pound bag, was it three pounds? I'm pretty sure. Two pound bag of Meyer lemons. And I don't know if that color is coming through, but look how beautiful those look. They almost look like orange. Those are beautiful, organic Meyer lemons. So I'm excited to try these. These will be fun. And then I'm also super excited about, I hope they look good. I got two pounds of cremini mushrooms and they look good 
are all of them look good so that's exciting i love sauteing up and browning mushrooms even just for a side by itself so good so they look beautiful so i'm excited about these i'm excited to try these um i feel like sometimes produce with azure i don't want to say hit and miss because i've never really gotten like bad product but every once in a while you'll get product that's like mm, kind of on the edge but uh everything here recently i feel like has looked really good and then oh, i got a 25 pound bag of what kind did i get navy beans 25 pound bag of navy beans and we just got our whole hog back that we raised here on the farm and we got back our ham hocks um cured i think i'm gonna smoke those but i wanted some white beans to make some um ham and beans basically and i know you typically use cannellini beans but they were so expensive compared to like just white navy beans or something like that so i decided you can switch them out for one another it's totally fine so i just got the 25 25 pound bag of navy beans and i'll put these in a food grade bucket to store them and i got the big bag because it saves money but um um also it's kind of nice to have a stock of them so yeah beans all right i moved some things around so i was able to get into this box this one's all taped up crazy but it says glass and that this is the top so this is probably the way we want to open it but it's like it's really taped up so oh this is so awkward um it's like two boxes taped together so i gotta like <laughs> hey they're good at reusing their stuff see i don't know if you can kind of see see how it's like two boxes taped together kind of makes it a little bit difficult all right Let's see. <laughs> this is so awkward. Did I not cut this one? Yeah, I did. Alright, this could not have been harder for the video. Alright. I'm scared everything's gonna just like tumble out though. How did they even do that? Okay, I got it. Um, here is the flyer that you get every month as long as they're not sold out. This is for March. That has like all next month's sales and new products coming in. All right. Oh, well, it looks okay. All right, so you guys know I love my Nancy sour cream, which I didn't get any this month because I had run out of sour cream a while back because... I think I forgot to order it last month too. Um, and so I bought like a big tub. It was like this big of sour cream. So I didn't need to order it this month, unfortunately. So hopefully I can make that last to the next month to order my Nancy's again. But, um, so this is Nancy's probiotic whole milk yogurt, plain. I've never tried this, so we'll see how it is. But it's a big, that's a big boy. It's four pounds. Right. Make sure I don't knock anything off the counter here. Woo. All right. Next, I got. Oh, I forgot I ordered this. Okay. Anyway, next I got their rice ramen, which they packed in this bag and it's kind of broken a little bit. It's still intact, but it's a lot more broken than usual. Um. So I get their rice ramen noodles, and it comes with four noodle cakes in it. This one, I got the Forbidden Rice Ramen, which I've tried before and liked. Um, and then this one is the Jade Pearl Rice Ramen, which I have not tried yet. So I've tried this one. Actually, I just ate some and I made pho and used these noodles. But I needed to stock up because I've used all of my noodles, all of my ramen noodles. So I needed some more. All right, next, I got this. Um, organic Durham semolina pasta. I'm not even going to attempt to try to say the name of the pasta. So I'll just show you instead. <laughs> um, 
yeah i kind of we don't really love like macaroni noodles but these look like really super thick um just like bigger macaroni noodles like fancier macaroni noodles i got three boxes of these which came out to be a really good deal so we got three of those i can get this box out of the way now Next, I got two and a half pounds of the organic um, rigatoni, and I've gotten this before. I've shown you guys, and we liked it, so just decided to stock up on some more. I almost sized up on this rigatoni um, instead of getting the two and a half pounds, but since I bought these three one-pound boxes of this, I decided not to. I didn't think it was needed. Um, something you've seen me get before that I really liked, or not me, but my son really liked, were these water drops um, from Sweet Leaf. They're sweetened with stevia. I got strawberry kiwi and raspberry lemonade, and he really likes these, and we're trying to stay away from dyes. Um, we, I just started that process, trying to stay away from dyes. And I looked at these ingredients and they did not have dyes in them. Um, so it was perfect to pick these up again. Next, I got some tomato powder, organic tomato powder. powder. And I know you're like, why? Don't you grow tomatoes? I do grow tomatoes, but I use all my tomato powder. And this is what I use in place of um, like tomato paste. I just make my tomato paste with this. It takes up less room and um, you can throw it into soups to help flavor your soups. It's just, I love this stuff and it's a pound. Yeah, so I'll just throw this into like a quart size jar. It should all fit in there. And then I'll use it, you know, so hopefully we're harvesting tomatoes. Next I got, oh my gosh, this came in a crazy big bag for what it is. This is four ounces of organic oregano. And I don't know why it's in this huge bag like this, but I'm gonna reuse this bag. <laughs> um, Cause yeah, look how flat it is. Like there was no reason for all that. <laughs> but I'll reuse that bag, that's fine. I just needed some more oregano. And I kind of wanted to make a tincture with some organic oregano. Um, but I was just gonna make a small like pint size tincture. So, um, I was thinking of something I haven't seen that hopefully didn't get forgotten. So hopefully it's in here. Um, so yeah, I bought it for seasoning and to make a small tincture. Okay, I'll reuse this bag too though. I like these. Um, next, nope, I see what I thought I was missing, but it's in there. Next, I got parsley flakes. This is four ounces of parsley in this big old bag. Um, that's, <laughs> that's a lot. I might share this with my mom. So I don't need that much parsley. I mainly, anytime I've ever used dried parsley, it doesn't really do anything flavor wise to the uh, meal or dish. So I was kind of, kind of curious more to try this to see if it did have any flavor. And if not, we'll just throw it in dishes to use for like coloring to make the dish look more appetizing. But surely these have a taste right i feel like anytime i've ever gotten any from the grocery store <laughs> it's uh it doesn't really have that much flavor so i'm hoping that does um next i got some medium chili powder i just needed some more chili powder with four ounces so that'll be perfect in like a pint or half pint next i got a pound oh well I got four ounces of the um, Color Mix Peppercorns, which I got those last time, I think. Hmm. I've gone through most of them, but I also ordered a pound of black peppercorns, which is, I think, what I meant to order. Don't mind my broken meal. I broke it loading my car today. So a pound of those. I like to <clears throat> grind my pepper from whole peppercorns fresh. So I only do small amounts at a time. I think I've shown you guys before, but I keep my pepper in a little jar 
next to the stove and then I um, just grind like this much um, and keep it fresh. So that's what that's for. Next I got, if you guys saw in my video a couple months back, probably just a couple videos back, I ordered a pound of cayenne pepper because cayenne pepper is life. It goes on everything. <laughs> no, but it was like not hot at all. Like zero hot. Zero. It was so weird. And then I got to looking, I was going to write Azure, um, but I decided to like go through the website, kind of look at all their cayenne peppers. And I guess there's like a mild cayenne, which is what I got. And then they had like a, don't quote me on this, but like a 40, is it Scoville's? Scoville's or something like that? Or maybe it was 80 Scoville's or something. So I ended up getting the 140,000 Scoville's or whatever those are called. And I'm gonna mix this with the not hot cayenne. So we have a just regular hot cayenne. So. I figured instead of writing Azure and saying I didn't like this product since it was my fault, not theirs, um, just buy the super, super hot one and mix them and then just stretch the cayenne pepper. So, but look how like orange that is. That's really pretty actually. <laughs> um, all right, next I got, this is what I thought I was missing. Um, I Now that I'm thinking about it, I should have ordered more or a bigger container, but this is 32 ounces and this is vegetable glycerin, non-GMO food grade. So this, just show it to you, there was like a glare. This I'm going to be using to make my son some tinctures. So I wanna make him an elderberry, rosehip, echinacea tincture, and I wanna make him a mullein tincture, but I don't wanna make a tincture with vodka for him and this is apparently has a little bit of a sweet taste to it um so I think my son is going to be a lot more apt to the taste of this and I just rather him have this instead of the vodka um so I bought this basically to make tinctures for him my son and then I've already started a couple tinctures for myself. I've started a mullein tincture with vodka. And then I started an elderberry, echinacea, and rosehip tincture with vodka for me. And then I want to start one for him with this. And then I ran out of vodka. Because it takes more vodka than you think. And a good place to buy vodka, if you're wanting to make tinctures, um, you can still get a good quality vodka. It's just in a lot bigger bottle for a better price at Sam's. So that's what I've been doing. And we also got our five pounds. This ended up being 5.43 pounds of organic sharp cheddar cheese. And I just, whenever I buy big five pound blocks like this, I just cut them into roughly one pound blocks, vacuum seal them, and then they store really well in the freezer. If you don't want to put it in your freezer, if you go through cheese fast enough, you can actually just cut a chunk off wrap the end with plastic wrap and store it in your fridge. Just make sure you're not touching the actual cheese itself, um, the cheese you're gonna store back in the fridge because your hands always have bacteria on them and the cheese is just gonna be more prone to go bad um, if you're touching it while you're cutting chunks off for yourself. But I've actually not vacuum sealed some before and it keeps for a really long time in the refrigerator as long as you're handling it properly. I'm gonna throw some stuff back in this box real quick because I'm gonna kinda show you, this is what I get from Azure. Um, I'm gonna keep that out because I'm gonna put that in the fridge. I'm gonna put my seasonings up because I want to divvy those out into my my jars and then so put those all together and then I just kind of wanted to show you a couple things um, that I get whenever I shop at the grocery store here near me so typically I try not to go to Walmart 
sometimes there are sometimes there are things I have to get from Walmart but I wanted to show you what I picked up from Aldi so if you're interested in that stick around but I have my Aldi order here and I just wanted to show you if some stuff out of it that I picked up okay I forgot I did do a pickup at Walmart with those this order but it was for mostly like paper products so my son's birthday is tomorrow but his party is this weekend so I did pick up like some paper plates napkins um, because he wanted to take snacks to school too so I had to provide you know like plates and napkins for that um, so I'll tell you what things food wise in here are from Walmart I think it's only like two things um but so from Aldi I ended up getting a bag of mandarin oranges they're just super easy and I can't find these or in organic at Aldi so I just buy these and then I picked up some heavy whipping cream this is to make some creamer um instead of buying the creamer with all the crap in it which I do buy sometimes but I like to make um, our own um, they have they carry organic half and half which I like to pick up because you never know for recipes and whatnot um, we, I do get cold brew coffee um, I do have an espresso machine but I know this might be a little bit um, people might have different feelings about this but um, as a I use this I see I'm, I'm like nervous to even tell you guys because I just don't want to hear like negative comments but and it's kind of personal why I buy this um so my son has a little bit of a problem paying attention and staying focused um, so we use a little bit of coffee morning coffee for him as a stimulant because it's supposed to counteract stuff anyway I'm not gonna go completely into it but this is for my son and it lasts like forever he doesn't get a lot but that is also why we're making the homemade creamer it's for him because I use the espresso machine for us but I'm not gonna be pulling my son shots of espresso <laughs> um, anyway moving on <laughs> I got some organic romaine lettuce from Aldi. I got some hard salami, and this is mainly for my son's lunches or for us to snack on with crackers. We love salami. Um, I'm trying to think. Well, this is new to us, so I know I mentioned while I was doing the Azure order that we are are going to start trying to cut dyes out of our diet. Um, that's mainly for my son. Um, and I found that Aldi actually has a lot of stuff, a lot of like snack kind of stuff that doesn't have dyes in it. So let, let me double check because I did try to look it all up and I'm not saying that these have the best ingredients. We're starting small here. So we're starting with dyes. We're going to cut, try to cut the dyes as much as possible. And then maybe we'll start, um, getting into cutting other things. So, baby steps. Um, so, yeah. So, these, any, like, coloring in here is with vegetable juice. These ingredients aren't awful. I mean, I'm sure there's some stuff in here that's not super great, but I'm not seeing anything, like, that I'm hating. Um, this is not an organic product it is a non-gmo product though so they're pb and j bites it says strawberry filled peanut butter snack so obviously if you have nut allergies you won't be able to do this um but yeah i thought they were cute see if my son likes them so i got kind of like an excess of snacks this time around because i wanted to see what he liked i'm not gonna buy snacks for him all the time i do like to make his own snacks but sometimes i feel like he feels left out at school um so that's why I try to get him some stuff. So I just ended up buying like a variety for him to try because I don't know what all he's going to like. So I got these and then I got these and these were also not organic, but it said it, it was labeled 
um, no artificial colors and no synthetic colors. So this is, these probably aren't the greatest. No, probably not, but they don't have dyes in them and it's a healthier option than some stuff, I would think. Um, but it's uh, fruit and grain, soft bake, baked mini bars. They kind of gave me like Fig Newton vibes, um, but I thought we'd have him try those. So something to try. And then I ended up getting some, <laughs> oh, we don't eat a lot of like spaghetti noodle type stuff. It's always like um, ziti or rigatoni or like I bought those other noodles you saw. But I am gonna make Skyliner chili tonight and I bought some linguine from Aldi and I was gonna use that. My Nana makes the best Skyliner chili and she freezes the sauce in vacuum seal bags and then will give them to us um, when she makes it. So I have some in my freezer. We're trying to eat out of the freezer. So I have some in my freezer, so that's what we're having tonight. Just gotta pull that. All, you, all I have to do is pull that bag of sauce out let it thaw, cook the noodles, pour the sauce in, good to go, dinner's done. One of my favorite things to buy for my son at Aldi to take in his lunch and to school are these organic apple juice drinks. I like the fact that they're organic, it has no added sugar, again, maybe not the cleanest ingredients, but it is a um, convenience kind of thing to take in his lunches. Um, if anybody has any good like cup products that you send your kids to school with that do not leak, please let me know because I've been wanting to make his own drinks to take to school so I'm not constantly buying juices. Um, let me know. Send me a message. Um, I don't know if you can send messages on YouTube, but go to my Instagram at Calibi Homestead and send me a message if you have like a good drink carrier that doesn't leak. I would love, I will buy it. <laughs> this is my son's favorite snack. I know he loves these. Um, he takes these to school for a snack. These are um, organic white cheddar puffs. They're baked corn and rice puffs, like Cheetos basically, but they're um, non-GMO. Oh, they're not organic. Well, I don't know why I thought these were organic, but they're, they're gluten-free and non-GMO, but he loves these. These are his favorite. Um, I also bought three packs of taco shells, and this is because, let's see if these have dyes in them. No, but they do have vegetable oil in them. Um, I bought three packs of these because his birthday party is this weekend, and we're doing a taco bar, and I didn't know I was doing a taco bar until, I don't know, earlier this week. So I had to get some taco shells. We are gonna use the Nancy's tortillas um, if anybody wants to make soft tacos. So um, so this is a Walmart product. I, at Aldi, they have this organic apple juice and then they have like a fruit punch and he doesn't like the fruit punch. Um, so I got him a different flavor from Walmart, this is from Honest Kids. This is organic um, berry lemonade. So this was a Walmart product, just to give him a little bit of variety. And then at Aldi, I got him the organic fruit flavored snacks. Um, these have no artificial flavors or synthetic colors, so no dyes. And he likes these, these are a good little snack, like a sweet snack. This is tiny. <laughs> <laughs> like, had I seen this in store, I probably wouldn't have bought this. Um, but if he loves them, I guess. So these are organic chocolate chip soft baked mini cookies. They are also dairy free, vegan, and gluten free, which aren't necessary. We don't have any allergies or anything like that, but yeah, so we'll see. <laughs> We'll see if he likes these, but there's a, there's five packs in here, five one ounce packs. This was probably five bucks. <laughs> so I probably won't buy this again unless it's like the best thing in the world to him. 
but again I was just trying a variety of stuff so and then this is my other Walmart purchase these are organic and sea salt and lime um, tortilla chips I always these are the late July I always forget they have these at Azure but I've never tried them so I wanted to try them first um, and then I'll see the price differences. I'm worried about ordering chips like this and then like being crumbles by the time I get them. So if you have any experience with getting tortilla chips from Azure, let me know. Are they crumbles or are they, you know, not badly crumbled? <laughs> anyway, that is our haul. And it was an Azure and Aldi haul and a mini Walmart haul. One more thing. I hate buying stuff like this. I can't believe I bought it actually because I live in a camper. And like I need another appliance for real. I, I don't. But I cook rice a lot. And, you know, we have the gas stove. And it always, without fail sticks to the pot like a uh, hard rice crust forms on that pot no matter how I turn it all the way down still crust when I cook it in the instant pot crust so I bought a rice cooker <laughs> I can't believe I've never used a rice cooker in my life I, I honestly can't believe I just bought this um this was kind of like an impulse purchase so we'll see how I like it I did get this at Aldi um, I added this to my cart last minute because I guess I've cooked rice a handful of times in the past week or two and just cleaning those pans with the crust just completely stuck to the bottom is miserable. So I got this at Aldi. It's at Aldi right now. It's like 15 or 16 bucks. We'll see. <laughs> if I don't like it, I'm returning it. I'll deal with the crust. I won't this was a impulse purchase. So yeah, but thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today. If you want to try Azure, I'll leave a link down below. Um, and you can check it out. This is kind of what my Aldi haul looks like for the most part. I did buy milk as well from Aldi. Actually, no, I got milk from Walmart because it's like 25 cents cheaper. But, um, yeah, this was kind of like our big grocery happening. Um, you know, we did start pantry challenge. We are now into February and I wasn't prepared for pantry challenge. I, uh, I'm going to go at it like full blown next year and I'm going to finish it out this year. But as you can see, we're wanting to cut dyes out of my son's diet. And I just, not that you should stock up for pantry challenge. I just wasn't prepared. And with kind of a diet change going on, um, I'm still going to be doing the pantry challenge, but I'm not going to focus on my pantry. And you guys kind of already knew this. If you're watching the videos, I'm focusing on my freezers. Cause so as you can see, I did not buy any meat and that is because we're working on eating from our freezers. So this pantry challenge is more about eating from our freezers. So the protein we have with each meal is going to come from our freezers. So yeah, this pantry challenge was a little different for me. Um, which is why I just went ahead and did my Azure haul or pickup, why I did an Aldi haul. Um, cause I just picked up stuff. We kind of, and all this stuff is going to last us a really long time. This is not something I go by every week or every two weeks even, or even every three weeks. Um, so yeah, we're going to be stocked up pretty well. Um, so yeah, I'm excited you guys came to hang out with me today and, um, if you like this kind of stuff, go ahead and subscribe. I'm going to be posting some more what, kind of what we eat in a week slash pantry challenge, but it's really a freezer challenge um, just to kind of show you guys like how we eat, what we eat, that kind of stuff. And then, of course, next time I get an Azure order, I will show you guys. So I will see you next time, guys. Bye.